Now to surveillance video played during the Anthony Sowell trial, showing a woman lying on the ground outside his home because she's naked. We've covered her picture electronically. That woman claims she jumped from a third floor window to escape from Sowell. And you can also see him in the video naked and agitated. Jurors not only saw the video, but heard from three eyewitnesses who say they tried to help the badly hurt woman. Chief Investigator Ron Regan joins us live with more on what they had to tell today in court. Well, let me give you a quick wrap up here of what happened today in court. You mentioned that stunning video that was shown early this morning. Well, the woman in that video first took the witness stand yesterday afternoon and told a, a very, very fascinating story, terrifying story of being brutalized and raped by Anthony Sowell inside that home. She was uh, very emotional. She was uh, uh, trying to pull herself together, but she seemed sure of herself. Now, today she took the witness stand. It was a totally different woman up there. This time, from the very beginning, she was very combative in her answers to defense attorneys, who, of course, were trying to rattle her and to show the jury that perhaps she was less than credible. Uh, it was quite a day. Uh, as you mentioned earlier, there were three witnesses who also described uh, seeing uh, these two fall from the balcony. Let's take a listen to what they said in court. Damnest thing I've ever seen. He's describing how a woman jumped from the third floor of Sowell's home. And so, do you say anything to him? Well, I'm like, what's going on? Uh, she's hurt. He said, this is my wife. Sowell showed no emotion as an eyewitness described how Sowell never seemed interested in calling for help. Well, I asked if um, he had called 911 or anything. What was his response? No. Eyewitnesses described how Sowell even dragged the injured woman back into his home before the ambulance arrived. Do you recall what, do you recall what his reaction He became agitated and said, we don't, well, I don't need you guys, I can take care of this. And he said, you ain't got to call nobody. And when that same woman left the courtroom this morning after she finished testifying, as she walked past Anthony so well, she looked in his direction and shot him an obscene hand gesture. Coming up at 6 o'clock tonight, what Anthony so well allegedly said the very day the first bodies were discovered. Live at the Justice Center, I'm Chief Investigator Ron Regan.